All right, so let's continue. So let's go. So um, what I'd like to do today is to implement this code instead of what we have right now in the Visual Studio instead of the wait for completion. Now, what is the problem with wait for completion? You could say there's no problem. I run the application even without the break, okay, without the breakpoint. I run the application. The there so we go. Test it one, two, three. Okay, and then the application is complete. I can even run it. Right. Let's go to the actual executable in the debug. Um, all right. I actually found it. You should right button click on the solution and open folder and debug and this is the executable so I can run it from here to the file. So let's so test it. One, two, three. Alright, sounds good because you would say alright we have a file player and it's working perfectly to which I would say yes but there's no user interface. If you would try and convert this application Right now it has no user interface, there is no window. If you try and convert this application to a window application, then your main thread that will handle the visibility and the functionality of the user interface of the window, you would see that at this point, if you're invoking this function from the original from the thread that is handling the user interface then invoking this function would block that thread. So if your thread would be so if the thread invoking this function that builds the graph and runs the graph is the thread that is managing user interface then you would be blocking this thread. And that means the thread wouldn't be able to handle user interface during the duration of the playback. All right. So, so in order to really feel this, I would like to first convert this application to a window application. So let's get started doing that. So uh, let's create a new visual. Let's. Um, run a new instance of the Visual Studio. Let's wait for it to come up. Good. And this is going to be a new project. And this is going to be a Win32 Win32 project. And this time, well, we know what we want to do. We want to have a window application that allows the user to maybe click a button or click a menu and run the graph. So, uh, but this is going to be a file playback. So this is going to be a media file player or a media player. So this is going to be a media player. Good. Enter. Next. And this time, I'm not going to select an empty project. I'm going to have the wizard create for me a complete Windows application. Alright, so finish. Good. And I can run it. Good. And I have a menu here. It created for me a menu. Great. And even an about box. Great. So what I'd like to do is maybe uh, add to the menu, instead of just exit, let's add here a uh, play file. Alright, so stop this. So we want to play file, so we have the RC file that should have the menu. There is the menu. Let's add here insert F2, I would like to insert the play. For now, just play. Enter. F4, and this is the ID created. So copy it. Go back. 
save, go back, let's see where the exit is handled, so control I, exit, this is, okay, so we, this is the IDM exit, so enter and case space control V colon break this is where we come in it's not aware of the ID file player so do we have an include of of the file let's try F6 see if it works or not yeah it works for some reason it's not aware of it I don't know F12 Let's test it with a message box. Message box zero 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 F five file play. There is our message box, so it seems okay. I don't know why the red. In any case, so this is where we want to play our file. So what we need, what I'd like to add, is a separate file over here to play the file. So add a new item. So this is going to be the player. Excuse me. And this is going to be a C++ file. Add. And there is our player over here and um, let's first try and simply invoke code in the player so let's write a test function over here void f and let's try and put a message box over here I doubt it will work because F6 should fail F8 because why? Unexpected end of file while looking for precompiled header. Did you forget to add include stdafx.h to your source? Okay, I guess we forgot. So let's add this right button click copy to our file. Control V enter F6 build succeeded. Very nice. Let's try and invoke F. So let's go back to our original location file. This is the point where the user click the menu. So we would like to invoke F. F6, F8. Let's look at it over here. Let's maybe move this to the right. I like everything on one side so it doesn't take up too much space. Okay, so uh, F8, F identifier not found, right? Because we don't have a declaration of the function. So let's go over here, take the declaration of F copy and go back right button click and go to header file and reference additional headers to your program required here basically we really should have if we're organized we should have our player dot h file so let's add it's not a source it's a header add a new item and this is going to be code header file and this is going to be the player dot h file enter control v semicolon we need to include the player h over here so include yeah Control space, there it is. Include player H, F6. Good. So now, when we get to this point, let's put a breakpoint here, F5, 
File play F11. That's good. That's good. And F11, so everything works perfectly. So now we're ready to insert our code. So everything that we wrote up until now in the other project is in this one main CPP file. So control A, control C, copy it over to our player CPP file. I'm going to leave F over here, control V, and basically I'd like to turn the win main function into the I would say this should be just play. Let's just call it play. We don't need these parameters. Good. F6, let's see how it deals with that. Oh, external, right? Unresolved external sy symbols because this application still does not have the two lib files that we added to the other one. So let's go properties, linker, input, over here, edit, and we need two, right? So we need, let's just go over here and see which two lib files, there they are, we need these two lib files, uh, stream IIDs, interface IDs and the quartz lib. Let's go over here. Incredible. It remains open. Not. Oh, this is <laughs> this is the other one, right? We need to paste it over here. Uh, I always like adding another enter. Okay, okay. F6. Good. The build is successful. So let's go back to the point where the, the user clicked the the menu instead of invoking F instead of the message box let's play invoke play F6 play is undefined go back to our play copy play and go to the player H enter control V semicolon so these are the two declarations F6 build succeeded again go back good let's let's test it remove the breakpoint test it and then we'll debug it see how how it behaves so there is our In new file. window file so let's play. test it one two three I can't hear anything that's because I turned off the, the speaker try it again file, file. So let's play. test it. One, two, three. So let's test it. One, two, three. I, I dropped the volume. I don't know if you heard if you to picked file. that up again. So let's test it. One, two, three. So let's test it. One, two, three. That's our file. That's good. So it works. Fantastic. All right. So now let's debug it. Let's see how it works. Run file play f11. There we are. That 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 that's our that's the the function we wrote. We've been writing up until now, and now it's being invoked. Very nice and run and to the file. So let's test it. One two three. So let's test it. One two three. Very good. And in the last few seconds that we have, let's show the problem. So the problem is that when I play, when I play. To the file. Without the breakpoint, so let's F5, test it. One, two, three. So let's test the window. It. I cannot move the window. Right now, I can move the window. To the when file. I run it, so let's test it. One, the two, window three. is not responding. So I, I even click the X. No response. So that's the problem, and that's why we really we we need to fix it. So the wait, the the wait function is it's no good when we're dealing with normal systems. Alright, let's stop here and pick this up in the next lecture.